Hey, I'm Michael Scarabino, and I'm a rock artist in the band Quiet, and I also compose electronic music. And in this video, I'm gonna be telling you about my newest guitar. This is the MA Evo by Mansa Guitar Works, and this particular model features the 25th anniversary edition hollow sparkle finish, which was seen on Muse's Drones Tour by Matt Bellamy. I've had this guitar for only five months and it is already my favorite instrument for a few reasons. For its comfort and the way it's set up, the controls are nicely laid out across the surface of the body. Uh, nothing's ever in my way. Uh, everybody's playing style is different, but with the knobs all located here with the switches as well, nothing ever interferes. Uh, the finish also offers a very nice and bright tone, whether you're doing some heavier leads or some trippy clean tones that are often heard in today's music, it offers a nice vibrant tone. Alrighty, so let's do a little rundown of all the specs on this guitar. So let's start with everything on the body. So first off, we have some really awesome circuitry here. The bridge pickup is a Psychopath PF1 humbucker. The neck pickup is the Sustainiac, which uh, has a couple of control switches down here by the butt of the body. Uh, we have an on-off switch, and then we have a three-way selector switch for your low, mid, and high harmonic settings. And this offers some really awesome possibilities in music. All right, and then uh, some of the hardware, we have the bridge made by Godo and the volume and tone pots, as well as a three-way pickup selector. And then of course, the fanciest thing we have here is the MIDI screen, which is a custom design by Manson Guitar Works. And this is meant to control any external device, such as a chaos pad, whammy pedal, pretty much anything that could take on any kind of MIDI value, it can control, and you can do some really cool stuff with this. As far as the rest of the hardware, we have Goto Hap tuners and the actual tuner knobs are custom aluminum tuners uh, shaped just like the knobs here on the body. And they look really cool. And for style in itself, it features the Matacaster body that Matt Bellamy himself uses. Um, this is the MA body. It's not exactly identical to the actual MB body shape that Matt Bellamy uses on stage, but this is a very nice alternative to anybody that wants the same style. Otherwise, the neck is maple wood and the fingerboard is made of ebony rosewood. Let's move on to some demonstrations now. So the first little part that I'm going to play will be featuring the Marshall lamp also, uh, we'll have the pickup selector in the bridge position to show off the more forward tones that this thing has to offer. The bridge pickup can produce some very aggressive tones for any sections that are of rhythm with power chords and then still sound very nice and balanced with some full on solo leads. Let's move on to some ambient tones. Now, one thing that's, that really makes this guitar shine in particular is because of the paint finish, it offers a much more vibrant tone as opposed to other guitars with a satin black finish or any other like white cream look that Manson produces. So when we do some stuff that has uh, more of a clean tone like from a Fender or a Boogie Amp, it sounds a lot more vibrant than most guitars do, which is really awesome.
Now with the Sustainiac, this offers some really awesome possibilities, whether it's a guitar lead or even in uh, down to the groove of production. So the Sustainer creates a magnetic field that prevents your strains from losing any vibration once you turn it on. At this point, the only way that the strain will stop vibrating is if the battery dies or until you switch it off. When you're in the studio and you wanna do some really cool layering, you can make the guitar sound like it's a synth pad. Put in some delay and reverb and we'll grab a slide and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Lastly, the MIDI screen I have connected to a Chaos Pad, the KP2 version. Now, you can connect this to many other MIDI devices, whether it be a whammy pedal, if you wanted to control stage lights, anything that has any kind of MIDI CC value, you can hook up to this thing. So let's do a little uh, demonstration of some of the sounds we can have here. On this last preset, we can integrate the guitar and the sound of uh, Axe FX presets along with uh, the actual preset coming from the Chaos Pad, and we can get some really trippy sounds. In conclusion, I've really had a tremendous experience with this guitar. Recording music for my electronic project, I've been able to achieve a lot of tones that I didn't really know were possible thanks to the vibrant tone that it produces. Because of the brighter tone, it has a much more impact on my existing presets. The sound is a lot more punchy and forward, which is really cool. I've had a lot of good experiences in the studio so far, and I'm looking forward to playing live with it one day. You can get one of these guitars by heading over to MansonGuitarWorks.com. That's their official site. Now, just to note, this particular finish is not in stock right now, and I'm not sure if it's going to be again because this paint finish was a 25th anniversary edition that was produced in 2016. And I was even very lucky to hear about this limited batch that they did earlier in 2020. So thanks to David at Omega Music, I was able to get my hands on this guitar. Uh, so definitely reach out to them and keep in touch. You never know when they do some uh, extra special stuff. Otherwise, you can follow Manta Guitar Works by looking up their name on their Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. They're always posting some really good stuff and updates about everything that they're working on. I want to give a special shout out to Tim Stark and Adrian Ashton for always uh, doing whatever it takes to make sure that myself and all their clients get exactly what they're looking for out of their instruments. 
they'll do whatever it takes to make sure that you're satisfied with your guitar in the end. And one grand special thanks to Matthew Bellamy, as he is now the new CEO of the company, has done a tremendous job with the company, and it's really cool to see everything that they've unveiled. With that said, thank you very much for watching this review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.